All right, y'all, we back at it, man. Happy Wednesday to you. Another week in the market. You know I come on, man. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Watch my recent videos. Share my channel also. All right, market looking green today. Portfolio value $52,569.28, up $95. Bucks. Buying power $4,500. $26.77. For y'all that pay attention, you might be asking why. Your buying volume low, you're just at five grand on yesterday or above that. I'm gonna show you why. Let's get to it. Let's get let's buy these golden <clears throat> the golden goose, man. Gotta buy we gotta buy a golden goose every day. Alright, this is why. Like we do. We buy a monthly passive income every day. Building up, making our own retirement plan, not depending on the government. We're going to retire early, not waiting until we 60. And if you're lucky, you live 20 years and die. Average people probably dying, especially men dying at around 80-ish. <clears throat> if you're not lucky. Um, all right. We know this pays 16 cents a month. We're going in today, going to buy a share, $15.91. <clears throat> every, every day you buy a dividend paying stock, especially these high yielding monthly payers we got, you giving yourself a raise every day. And that's how I stay at it. Don't wait on your job to give you, 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 you a raise. You invest your money and give yourself a raise. That's a good way of staying, staying, staying at it. The more dividend stocks you, you buy, the more you reinvest your dividends, and the more compound interest adds up, you are buying your time back so you can retire early. You can live your, how they say it, your best life. <laughs> but this is the main reason why my stock is down horizon. Um, I brought, I'm going to show you my buying activity. Excuse me, for the last couple of days, the day of the what, 21st? <clears throat> so from the 19th, I brought 100 shares at 1106, 50 shares at 1106, another 50 at 1106, 20 shares. I'm sorry, nine shares at 1106, four and a half shares at 1106, another four and a half at 1106, 20 shares at 1101, five at 1104. I brought 1.8 shares at 1107, 1.8 at 1105, 1.8 at 1104, and four and a half shares at 1104. So you see in the last couple of days, I was buying 1, 2, 420, say 525, 525 and 6, I spent $585 on Horizon. You ask me why do I do that? Because I need to come down in it. Now you see my average cost right now, 1234, 1106, plus it's paid a dividend of 11 cents a month. Uh one special month out the money in March, I noticed. I'm gonna do a, a video quick short on the dividend payout. Hit the hit the the history of of hub rising. On yesterday, last night, well early in the morning, about two in the morning, I did a video on a quick short. Telling you about it, y'all go check that out. Um, but out one month out of the year, pay a sixteen cent dividend for that month instead of eleven. Um, this stock has increased its dividend like every year. Right now, it prob probably won't because of the interest rates, but still, you still get a eleven point eight percent yield. Um, as you can see, the fifty two week low is ten fifty one. Fifty two week high is thirteen seventy three. So, you see me buying it at the 11 to 1107 mark. So, this is a what for later. For y'all that follow my videos, leave your answer in the comments. But this is a potential swing trade. That's what it is. Buy it at 11. Got the ride all the way up to thirteen seventy three. If you even go that way, you can sell it at twelve and make a dollar share. But we're gonna collect that dividend while we're doing it. We're gonna go O R C. I'm buying this at eight twenty and under. It's at eight sixteen now. 
Look like it's about to come on, come on down. I'm gonna go get 10 for now. I was gonna buy that 818. We're gonna see what it's gonna do. But it pays this pays a 12 cent a month dividend. This here got a 52 week high 988. 52 week low at 590. <clears throat> well, if we're gonna go P set. We're gonna get this. This is above five dollars. I told y'all this stock gonna go back above five bucks. I've been giving y'all this play for the longest. Y'all know that watch my videos. I buy this five shares a day under that five dollar mark. It got the lower of five ninety six, four four ninety six. I'm gonna put that in just in case it pull back and touch it and rise back up. But I've been giving y'all this play. Plays a dividend of six cent a month. And you see the trade value is 1.2 million. That's why I say this stock does move quick. It's just been trading sideways for a while. Um, if some news came out of saying the dividend might be in danger, I don't think it is. Another one, ACP, I told y'all, put a buy order today at 642. This pays 10 cents a share a month. I buy one of those every day in another portfolio. We're going to go with Wendy's. I like this at 17 and under. I got down to 16.82 for y'all that want to buy a share. I got this in another portfolio. Western Union. You got to send this one and another one. My average cost is lower. It's probably about 11.70 in my other portfolio. This one is 13.70. That's why I'm buying in this one. We're going to go today with Wendy's at, um, I mean, Western Union, 11.65. I like this at 12 and under. This will go way over 12, 12 bucks. It's out the way, 11.65, 11.65. About one share every day at these prices. When it goes above 12 bucks, I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> I really want to go over 1180. I like 1180 and under. I just cash up for it to come on, come on, come on down. Another one, um, Golden Goose. Oh, I have Wendy's and Western Union are nice dividend stocks, but they excellent swing swing trades too. All right. USOI 69.21 was the low today. 69.34 is that. We'll get five dollars worth of that. Pays out monthly. This month's paying low, paying forty-one cent a share. A month coming up on its pay date. Um, if you want another oil you play USOY, I got in another portfolio. Waiting on that to dip around the sixteen fifty ish range. Um, USOY right here. It's at sixteen ninety two. It's coming under that seventeen the way I. The way I want it, but in this you got to buy a whole whole share. Just can't buy buy a dollar worth. Got to buy a complete share. But it paid uh, I think seventy something cent last month. This does pay out every month. For y'all that want to own and invest in oil, I go with USOI or I go with USOI. You don't own any oil, but you're doing options on it. They doing options, but you get the benefit of owning it, doing options on the place. <laughs> That's why y'all need to watch these videos and watch everything and listen. Giving y'all these Jews free. Million dollar game for free 99. All right. Bank stocks looking like they pulling back. Which we know the financials. Due to interest rates, the financial sector and the real estate sector going to get hurt. I'm up. Like I said, the U.S. Bank, I'm up 25.8%, 123 bucks. All right, I got a um a comment about at what percentage, what price should you take profit? All right, if you day trading, it's going to be lower because you're going you're going to take the minimum of profit because you're moving volume. Say like you're doing a day trading a penny stock like Goro. Let me explain this. 
Like Goro, G O R O, one I'll be showing you. Like most people swing trade. These penny, these penny stocks. Say like now, say you buy a hundred shares at with a thousand shares. Cause people that train swing trade these kind of stocks, especially these fifty cent, forty one cent stocks, man, they buying this in value. You make money in value. Say today, they got a low of thirty eight cent. Today's low high forty three cent. You might go buy five thousand shares at thirty eight cent. And say you set your sale limit. At 43 cent or 44 cent on a thousand shares for 5,000 shares. Excuse me. So you eight, 38, 40, say 40. We're going to go, okay, you brought that 38, going to sell at 40, 44 cent. So that's six cent a share you made. Does it sound like much? No, man. They ain't up with six, six cent a share, but you got, you got 5,000 shares. So when people do that day's trading stuff at times, they make money off volume. So you make the volume is the you know the, the uh quantity. You only made six in a share, but you did that five thousand times in one in one trade. But some people can do chart, and some people just might buy that thirty eight and sell it at 40, 41 cent. But they might get five thousand shares, but they might in and out that play three to four times in a in a day just watching just watch just watching the the, the chart. As you can look at this chart here, I go up and down and up and down and up and down. They know how to monitor those charts. That's why you got a chart and candles and all that stuff. And they get in and out of those plays. So if you make, if you can make three cent, four, four cent a, a trade at 5,000 shares and you trade it four to six times in a day. I mean, that is some, some nice money. Now, yeah, you got to sit there and monitor and watch it. But, I mean, you making money. But they'll set a stop a stop loss. Say they buy it at 38. They might have it at stop loss at 36 cents. Just at 5,000 shares. Just in case it goes down to that. It'll sell at 36 cents. It'll kick them out of the play. And they'll get their money back. And they'll just write that day off. But their hopes is in a month's time, 30 days, that they win more trades than they lose. So if they got 100 trades, hell, they lost say 100 trades a month. If they lost... Hell, 33 and once uh 67. I mean he's still I mean he's still up. I mean he up good. But hell, if he can win, if he if he can lose 20 and win 80, I mean that's even better. Some people might lose 10 and, and win win 90. But it is risky, it's volatile. <clears throat> Some people do options, which I don't I don't do. I just buy the uh the E the ETFs. And I let that that handle it for me. All right, Wal Walgreens down. Go get some of this. Why? Just to lower my average calls. Swing traded for the future. If I was you coming in, I would not mess with that with that play. Walgreens, I would leave it alone. If you want to get in one of them corner stores, I do CVS first. I'm just doing it because I'm a swing trader for later. They're trying to bail, bail themselves, sell themselves out. It's time for me to start to nibble at some of this here too. I'm going to just buy a couple shares every every week to lower, lower my average calls. People starting to get trade called back into the office. But people done got so spoiled that they don't even want to go back in the office. They'd rather monkey branch jobs and quit, just get another job where they can be remotely home which is crazy but it is what it is welcome to 2020 2024 you give them a foot how they say you give them a, give them a, give them a, you give them an inch you give them an inch they're gonna they're gonna take the whole foot <laughs> y'all we got land down this gladstone lands this pays a dividend every month too uh, 4.0 cent percent dividend yield. That's the easiest called land, L-A-N-D. If you want to own land, that's the easiest way to do it. They actually rent out. They rent out um land to uh farmers. Let farmers they they rent land to farmers. So people that want to be farmers, or whatever, they rent their land from them. And that's how it works, basically. Got Goro here. 
It's down. That's why I took my money at that 43 cent mark so I can do another play with it. All right, this swing is down 7.9%. Got the notification, Ben Franklin Resources. Got a dividend yield 5.4%, market cap 10.89. And this is Franklin Resources Inc. is a holding com a company which engages in the provision of investment management and related services. Y'all can pause it and read all that there. But this is a good dividend paying stock, 5.41% dividend yield, 10.9 billion in market cap. 52 week low, 2055, 52 week high, 30, 32. <clears throat> Buy some of this at this price, I can come on down. Where am I at? Okay, well, let me get. I get a share. Let me go over a share. Twenty eighty eight. That should knock knock me down. Let me make a note on that. That one in by range two. And ball greens for the day. All right. Now where else we going? That might pretty much be it. Now, why I say y'all need to watch these videos while y'all at work, I work and watch the market. That's what I do. Until they put me in the grave is what I'm going to be doing from here on out. And this is my newfound love. That's why I tell folks, um, hold on, USOI, we did get that. Okay. I tell people, I think the biggest competitive sport is business. The biggest sport is business in general. Not basketball, not football, not all the other stuff. Think about business. One thing about a sport is you can watch videos on your uh, opponent. You know, you can try to say, look at the videos, how they fought this guy, fought that guy, or how they played this guy. You can watch their offense, their defense. One thing about, about business, man, it changes every day. It changes to the... Um, to eat, to eat the economy and dealing with the economy, you can deal with anything, man. COVID, inflation, gas prices, hell, a war, and this business. You trying to, especially dealing with this market, even in sales. Like I say, all that going to um affect your uh money, your revenue. You're not facing the same opponent every day in uh business. <laughs> you don't know what's gonna be tomorrow. You can get up. And CNN can have on the news, COVID breaks out in China, gas did this, somebody hit an oil, uh, uh, oil uh, re, 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 refinery, and now gas going up, now your price is going up, now everything got, got to go up just to keep the, the, bit, the, bit, the business running, which, uh, which is a cause just to run, to run, to run, to, to run the business, dealing with the stock, stock market, people start panic, panic selling. Now you got to go in and buy. See what is this? What is that? Uh, what is the new 52 week low? 52 week high. What is going to be for the future? What's the 90 day chart? What you know? It, it constantly changes and, and it's a challenge. But it's an um. Okay, he, he emailed me back, but it's fun, man. I mean, like I said the biggest sport to me is business, man. I played sports. I was an athlete my whole life. And coming up where I come come from, you know, that was the only way out to be a millionaire during during the time of me coming up, being in the sports field or in a in a entertainment, either playing sports, being a rapper, or being a dang dope boy. Them the only way you you was gonna get rich. Them was the only examples you had coming up. I'm black, so in the black culture, we didn't know about no stock market. I'm 41 year, years old and still haven't had anybody come introduce me to the stock market, even tell me anything about it. Not knowing that I trade stocks. That is how messed up it is. But it's the generational curse. And when you mention stocks to people, especially in our culture, they 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 treat stocks like a dang credit, a credit, a credit, a credit card, man. Man, you like mention stocks, man. They seem like they done seen a, a dang ghost or something. But it is what it is. I ain't gonna go on no on no rant with it. 
All right, man, that's everything we're doing for the day. Sorry for the long video, but like I say, business is the biggest sport. You can't predict the market. On yesterday, I can't predict the day how the market's going to look to tell y'all how long my, my video is going to be. I couldn't do last night and say, oh, man, we only going to have a five-minute video tomorrow. The market ain't going to do, do much because you cannot time the market. <laughs> so, signing off. Go get your money.